so let me go ahead and read this email all right and it goes and it says it reads hello as a diehard dragon ball fan i absolutely love the podcast all right you get some dings for that appreciate it the amount of knowledge and passion for dragon passion. ball oh. oh the passion right <laughs> the amount of knowledge and passion for dragon ball in u3 is so not so widely seen in most fans damn you get some more dinks for that that's that's love okay i mean hey man real ones recognize real ones i guess right sheesh of course and then he says before i get into the topic i just wanted to appreciate the passion you all put into this keep it up trifecta that's respect that's respect that was a beautiful opener right so let's get into the nitty-gritty of this email right well it's not a long one let me, let me not hype it up it's not on some star wars shit okay it's not like that it's just one more little little thing right they write the topic i suggest is legend the dragon ball fan project right even though short it has a lot of studio or subtle excuse me subtle details and also the overall theme which begs the question of how the franchise could have been if they had gone in this direction along with everyone's thoughts even a comparison to how the franchise is now compared to this will be something really nice to hear about yours truly with full power our boy Kronos. Shout out to fucking Kronos, dude. Kronos has always been a real one. So let's get into it, fellas, because listen, I don't know if you guys have been aware, okay, but uh, this whole fan project has kind of caused a little bit of a an uprising, if you will, okay? And it's not just with, you know, people just talking a lot about it. It's been helping out people, uh, you know, just, I'll just say it. My channel gained like over 400 subscribers in two days. I am well past the point now where I'm not in this weird gray area that I've been stuck on, on my main channel. The funny part is that, that growth trickled into this full power podcast. And you guys already know, we only upload the videos and, you know, the audio once a week. With the extras, of course, being on Patreon, right? But it just goes to show you how much of an impact. It's like, it was like the, 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 the impact of everything that was hit in my channel. Just, <laughs> the, some remains fell into the full power pockets. Because people want to hear the three of us. Not just me. The three of us talk about this. So, I'm under the understanding that, of course, we all saw it. Kai, I literally watched you watch it, right? And I didn't, I, my plan, right, was I wasn't even going to tell Brandon about it. I was not going to say shit. I was going to bring it up, mention it, obviously here on this on this show. But I wasn't going to tell him to watch it because I was, there was a 1% chance. I was like, yo, maybe he didn't see it. And so by the time I moved back, because I want to I wanna get that reaction. But you know what? That's how big of a deal this shit was because even this fucking kid saw it. And he don't follow yeah. no news. I'm the I, news. I, <laughs> I found it on Twitter and then I went to YouTube. Cause it, cause I cause I mean the animation looks like it looked pretty dope. So I fucked with it. And the art and shit. And I was just like, oh shit. Let's check it out. Yep. Yeah. Cause I've I actually I ne I didn't decide to watch it probably like until maybe another two days. Cause like I saw it on Twitter, I was like, what the fuck is this? So you saw it on <laughs> Saturday then? <clears throat> well, because so yeah, I saw it. You definitely Wait. saw it over the weekend for sure. I saw I saw it like Sunday. Okay. Either Saturday or Sunday, I saw it. Mhm. Mm because I, I, I was just like on lunch break at this point, but it was like a previous two days before that or some shit like that where I was just on Twitter and I, I heard about it. Like I was just scrolling and I saw it. And I was just like, "What the fuck is this?" And then I just, I just skipped it because I was just like, "I don't know if I wanted. I don't want. I don't know if I want to do this shit." And then it can't. It comes back to me, so it's like the hype is there, I guess. And I was just like, you know, fuck it. It's like ten minutes. I didn't watch it. I mean, it was pretty good. I liked it. I liked what I saw. It's interesting. Go ahead, Kai. 
I think exactly the same. I, I definitely liked what I saw. It was it was fucking great. It was well put together. It's the direction that Dragon Ball really needs to take. And it's one of those things where it's so well written, you know it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, no, that so, but like like I, I actually watched it a second time today. Oh just yeah. Because because I, I watched the reaction though this time. Cause I yeah, I watched your shit. But yeah no like because like the second time i watched it i was like kind of paying more attention into it as, as far because like the first like i didn't know what the fuck i was seeing honestly like <laughs> when i first saw it i was like i was kind of confused with these new names and shit and like i was trying to understand the plot more uh. but then the second time i i kind of i kind of started to understand a little more about it but i mean it's a different it really is a different direction because like where it starts like when you start to understand where it starts, it's like it's it's like borderline Z, All, or it's like where, where the tournaments is starting and Broly's involved in this shit, and then like a Vegeta from a different fucking planet or whatever universe comes into play, or timeline, matter of fact, uh -huh. and then and then he shows up, and but like it's so it's crazy because like, I mean Goku Goku like reached a new form that matched like broly for example in this case and and, and definitely beat him but it, it's it's so soon because we don't even know i mean i'm just, I'm just speculating at this point i'm just chatting to be honest because i don't know where the fuck like i don't know what type of training goku's been through and shit and this shit like there's already fucking hypotheses and shit <laughs> and it's kind of funny and see and that see what you're what you're doing right is exactly what every single person on YouTube and on the internet is doing. They are trying, without whether they mean to or not, they are trying to dissect and understand as much as they possibly can about it because it is that fucking interesting. It's that intriguing. And let me tell you, off of my initial hype, okay because as you saw in my reaction i was freaking out i had to pause it like a few times in the middle just to fucking like breathe okay because i had to take in in some form or fashion everything that was happening okay this project okay by stray dog studios studio stray dog they got they're not gonna be strays for much longer okay i'll tell you that right now okay because people know who the fuck they are <laughs> and what our boy nasir pasha okay he is a god in his own right and i deem that right because we all respect toriyama right to a degree you have to you can't you know you can't not but nasir did something that not a lot or i will go out and say not anybody has really been able to do because there exists so many different fan projects and i mean there's a reason why you don't hear us talking too much about them okay i mean we mentioned them in passing right i'm aware of some of them very few we've actually watched because the reason but the reason is just like you know yeah we enjoy it it's cool it's different some things are just like, eh, like whatever, right? But it's just, you know, especially going back to the time was different, right? When we watched Absalon, and that's the one fan project that that I have specifically talked about here in the past on previous episodes, right? But it was never something that we would, especially now, there's really no reason to even invest time and energy and emotion into shit like that but nasir did something that none of these other projects has done he and not, i'm not and, and this is not me trying to shit on any of them i'm not shitting on deliverance i'm not shitting on absalon i'm not shitting on af i'm not i'm nothing whatever i missed because there's a shitload right i'm not shitting on any of them but the fact is the matter is is that this this dude took what is already known popular has a legacy no matter how much head ass follows especially nowadays right this dude managed to take what was 
already known and established. And he added his own flair and twists and turns that I don't think anybody was expecting and ready for. And that is that is part of the reason why people are still watching this shit. People are still talking about this shit. And it is that big of a fucking deal. Like, it has caused a, almost its own, like, little resurgence. Like, people are, like, it's insane. The amount of, the amount of thought and energy from the fans. Not just, you know, like, the fans. Like, people that have seen it, they're just, like, trying to make their own conclusions. And they're like, what if this? What if that? And y'all already know. I'm the kind of person that I really don't fuck with shit like that. But this shit is literally in the name. It is fucking legendary. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>